Yo, what up, Street Togs? Uh, Eric Kim. So, thoughts on uh, biological warfare. So, right now, it looks like it's humans versus the virus, and this is going quite interesting. So, why is this notion of humans versus the virus so interesting to me? The, the reason this is interesting to me is that I don't know, like, every time I watch these, like, end-of-the-world movies, it's kind of interesting in the sense that... You think, oh, it's like, okay, if there was some sort of other enemy, how could humanity come together and how could we band together to overcome this kind of uh, enemy? And I don't know, I like, I like the idea that... I don't know, like, ever since it's been happening, I've noticed actually people are just way kinder to each other like even for myself like I'm a pretty friendly guy but I usually ignore strangers you know but nowadays I walk by people I wave at them I say hello and it's a uh, I think it's really nice because you know even when you watch these like zombie apocalypse movies it's humans versus the zombie and therefore as a consequence anyone who's not a zombie humans we favor each other and now that it's all of humanity versus this virus I don't know I think all humans will just kind of band together and uh, be be kinder to each other so the notion of social distancing is interesting because fr frankly speaking we've always already been socially distant like emotionally like we're always on our phones and don't make eye contact don't say hello to strangers so in some ways we're becoming more you know there's obviously the interdict of doing the social distancing with a uh, physical space but I think emotionally we're actually becoming uh, more um, uh, socially close to other people we're actually closening ourselves to other people because you know everyone knows somebody who's kind of sick or has been sick or maybe even died so I think there's actually more compassion or kindness with uh, human beings and so you know, when we're doing this like kind of like biological warfare of us versus the the germs or whatever, um, it seems the 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 smart strategy is for us to um, become to immunize ourselves uh, to the to the germs. So, how do we build a strength and armor and immunity to? To germs, well, you know, this is uh, this is what I know is uh, interesting. Where you know, obviously, you know, like hygiene is important, right? So I've been washing my hands like a motherfucker. So I wash my hands like 50 times a day now, and obviously, I'm like kind of like surface phobic I try not to touch surfaces but for the most part I still I still like to go out I like to enjoy the the fresh air the cold uh, waving to people and hello saying hello and stuff like that and actually like my thought is you know, obviously don't listen to none of me these are all just like my theories that I just do for myself so I just I, I won't tell you what to do I'll just tell you what I've been doing in, in order to like burst my personal immunity so what have I or Ken been doing I continually take my cold showers. Um, I take cold showers. I've been eating a lot of uh, turmeric, cacao powder, 100% cacao powder, no sugar. Drink a lot of black coffee, drink a lot of uh, green tea. Continue my intermittent fasting throughout the day. Um, I've been uh, going outside and still, you know, exposing myself to the elements because, I mean, I cannot speak with diseases, but I know at least with like, Allergies. Uh, you need to like, you need to expose yourself to some pathogens or else your body is totally going to shut down. Now the, the tricky thing is, what is, it's all, it's all dose dependent, right? Is that like, if you don't, if you expose yourself to too much, you know, you're you's gonna get sick or whatever. But if you don't expose yourself to a small dose, your body is actually gonna become weaker. So there's this uh, biological, a uh, thing called hormesis, not to be confu confused with homeopathy, which is pseudoscience. Hormesis, H-O-R-M-E-S-I-S. -E Just, you know, Google it or Wikipedia or whatever. But essentially it's a biological function in which a small dose of a poison actually stimulates our system. This is why I'm such a big fan of uh, cold training because uh, 
a little bit of a cold is, is good for you. It wakes up your, your body, it strengthens your body and stuff like that. Um, also intermittent fasting is very beneficial, like not eating breakfast or lunch, fasting until dinner time because when, you're, when you actually fast your body a little bit, uh, it allows you to, you know, accelerate your, um, I think when you're fasting, your body secretes more like IGF-1, like human growth hormone, blah, blah. Um, and also the other benefit is um, there's something called autophagy where your body is kind of like a human vacuum cleaner effect where the weaker cells are consumed by the stronger cells and that's, you know, they say that's good for life, elongation, longevity kind of stuff. Uh, and also they call it hormetins, like hormesis, you know, chemicals or stuff. This is why drinking black coffee, consuming caffeine is good for you because caffeine is actually um, a poison, right? Like uh, coffee plants and tea plants and stuff like that. It's a natural pesticide. It, like, it prevents pests from consuming the, the plants. And to us humans, it's actually kind of a mild stimulant because it's strong enough. Uh, same thing goes with like spicy foods and stuff like that. Foods was not put on the planet for humans to eat. Humans, we've just kind of adapted to be able to somehow process it and consume it for uh, nutrition and energy uh, to survive. And so that's why it's kind of a little bit silly when you say, oh, this food is healthy, this food isn't healthy because nothing is really healthy. Everything else is like, all the plants are trying to kill the predators and don't want to be eaten for the most part. You know, animals don't want to be eaten, but you know, obviously we humans, we're the apex predators. We want to subjugate everything to our wells. But anyways, so it does seem that exposing yourself to some low doses of uh, poison is actually good for your system. And so other things like resistance training, like lifting weights, I don't know, doing yoga, barre, hit, whatever it may be, um, is, is good for you. And also like mentally too, is that like you cannot, you need to actually expose yourself to some sort of mental stress or some sort of difficulty or some sort of like social hostilities or else our, our social systems just kind of go to sleep too. So a soft life is a worse life. I think a harder life is a stronger life. Um, other things that you could do too is like, you know, obviously walking around a lot. Uh, uneven services are nice. Oh, check out this uh, tree. Oh, it's so pretty. All right, so it's starting to get a little bit windy, but yeah, uh, hormesis process where what doesn't kill you only makes you stronger. That's my theory on how one could boost their immunity. Obviously not guaranteed for anything, um, but just know in this hard knock life that we have, a harder life is a better life. And what attempts to kill you only makes you stronger.